Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Moritz. I'm 21 years old from Germany and I'm doing modeling for about two years now. And today I want to tell you guys how I got into the modeling industry and what it feels like to be a model and what are the troubles in the beginning and what are the benefits and just everything I can tell you about it. So to tell you the full story, I have to go all the way back to 2016 when I just finished my high school and like you have to believe me like finishing high school in Germany it's like the biggest relief ever because like school is quite difficult here especially because we have like different school classes and um, I was in like the most difficult one so it means I had to put a lot of work in and like learn a lot and like study all the time <laughs> of course I didn't do it but still there was some pressure and I was just really relieved after I finished but it's also a really bad part about it because after you finish high school there's not really a, a major plan for people like what to do after finishing high school. So I decided to do like a, a voluntary year at a primary school which means just like taking care of children after they finish like school and like going to eat with them and all that stuff and it was fine in the beginning but after one month I was just feeling like it was the most boring activity and I couldn't do it anymore for myself. But there were still a few months to go, so I just like went through it and finished it, even though I didn't like it. But then there was the point where I just said to myself, hey, I want to get out of this boring routine and I want to do something really cool, really creative for myself, where I can actually be proud of that I did it and made so many cool new experiences. And back then, the only real option to do that was backpacking. So backpacking is a huge thing in Germany because like <laughs> if you go to Australia you'll realize that like 50% out of all backpackers are Germans. It's a really popular thing to do after high school so a lot of people just go straight after high school for like one year. They work in Australia, they travel around the country. So I got my big backpack, I got some money saved, I bought a camera and I was already in the plane to Australia without knowing anything about how it's, how it's gonna work out. So when I arrived in Australia like I had a plan kind of like trying to find some work immediately, trying to make some money, then eventually being able to travel around the country, but then I realized it's not that easy because there's literally so many backpackers who try to find work there and yeah, then it turned out to be pretty hard. So what I did in the beginning, I just I just got my CV, um, which is basically a resume of what you did before, what kind of jobs you did, and I went to all cafes, I went to like fundraising agencies, and all that stuff to try to find a job. My first job was like a fundraising job, but it was a really bad experience because these fundraising jobs aren't always paying well. And with my experience, they didn't pay at all. So like we had to like quit the job because like these people were just scams. Then the second job I did was farming. And that was really the point where I thought like, this experience has to be over here. We went to this farm and yeah, that was really bad. The farm didn't even have a toilet, they didn't have a bed for me, they didn't have like a proper cooking place, they didn't have a shower, they had basically nothing. I accepted first because I was really like desperate for the money back then and the job would have paid like well because it would have been a lot of hours. So I decided, hey, maybe I should try it. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Then after I tried it, it was just terrible because the working conditions were even worse than the living conditions. We had to work for like 15 hours a day just picking up vegetables from the ground and back then it was really rainy in Sydney so I was always like muddy all the time. So as I said, this was the turning point for my year in Sydney because I decided for myself I don't want to do this anymore but if I go back to Sydney I literally have no money left. So yeah, I had to make a decision. Either I go back to Germany, I carry on doing this really bad shitty job or I just go and try to find a new job in Sydney. So after all, I decided to do the third option, which was going back to Sydney and trying to find a new job, which turned out to be pretty hard too, because as I said, a lot of backpackers, not a lot of jobs. So then there was the probably most crucial moment of my modeling career, because then my friend Niklas was coming over from New Zealand. He's German too, but he was backpacking back in New Zealand then. And yeah, so what he did with me was just like, we headed out to Bondi, and there's this really really sick outdoor gym in Bondi and we just like went to do some workouts and he was saying like hey this location is quite cool you bought your new camera maybe we should just take some photos back then I really didn't know how to take photos or how to post or how to do anything because I literally never had any social media account before and without social media you don't really have to post a lot of photos and yeah, so then I decided like maybe we should go for it. So these photos really turned out to be great and even though I, my camera wasn't even that good or like 
he wasn't a great photographer, he was just a guy like shooting with a camera that I bought prior to my trip. Anyway, so the photos turned out to be great and he said like, hey, let's send them to a modeling agency. And I was like, wait, what? You really want to send it to a modeling agency? That could have been so embarrassing back then for me because I didn't think of myself as a model. But he kind of pushed me into that and right now I'm still really thankful for that because this was literally the moment where my modeling career started and really took off. So one day later the modeling agency actually replied and I was so so happy because I would have never thought that it's actually going to work out. So the next steps were kind of like they just invited me over to the office then we took some Polaroids there which are like these like standard photos that you just take in front of a white wall. Then the first step was already the contract and it was just going so fast and I really couldn't deal with it in my mind because right here I'm backpacking, then I'm like farming and having a bad experience and then the third step is already like being a model like I would have never thought that it could actually go so quick. So I was really overwhelmed with all the experiences that I did in this day and like all the people I met because obviously the modeling industry is like so so different to the people I met like before like backpacking or even here living in Germany in my small town. So anyway I was really happy that it worked out and, and then they already sent me to the first fashion week castings because back in Australia then the fashion week was just about to take place so I was just able to go to a few castings in order to walk in the show. And the first modeling casting was literally the craziest experience because it was like some sort of like these high fashion show castings where like people are dressed like crazy and wearing like colorful shirts and like crazy haircuts and everyone's like talking so different to people that I met before because especially like after I did the farming stuff um, it was just like an overwhelming colorful visually crazy experience and i really didn't know how to deal with it but i really tried to do my best with it and i actually got like two shows out of it and i was so so happy overall it was just like an amazing experience to book these shows just after i started modeling you have to think about it like first casting second casting then i already booked two shows and i couldn't be happy about it and also my agency back then was happy that it worked out so good for me so after these shows i went to a few after show parties and stuff met some people and then honestly for a few weeks or almost like two months nothing was really happening and it was quite concerned because like the start was like crazy explosive, everything worked out perfectly. And then after a month, like nothing really happened. So I contacted my agency and they were actually saying like, hey, you walked some shows, but you still don't have any pictures for your modeling portfolio. So modeling portfolio is like a book you show to clients when you go to modeling castings in order like to present yourself as a model and show them what kind of work you did. Back then I really didn't have anything like that because like I hadn't done any shootings. I just did the shows. These were literally my first two, two pictures in my book, but without having a proper portfolio, you won't be able to book any jobs. And then my agency booked me my first few test shoots. And actually they went quite well because I didn't know how to post back then, but like the photographer were like giving me some instructions and in the end it worked out. So now I had the book, now I had some photos, but still the jobs weren't really coming in for me. So I continued doing my waiting job. But at one point as a model, I think everyone realizes that if it's not working out at a certain market, you shouldn't stay there for too long and just switch to another one. And this is what I did back there. So my modeling agency in Australia was sending me to Singapore. And that's where I really had my first big success because I was arriving and literally not knowing anything except doing these two shows and some test shoots. So I went to Singapore and the success was just coming straight away. I was so happy because as I said, I didn't get a lot of jobs in Australia. I was switching the market to Singapore and it worked out immediately. And I really didn't know why. I was not doing anything different, but the clients just loved me there and it really went on and on and on. Even flew to Malaysia to do some, some campaign shootings back then. And yeah, my agencies were super happy with me and super happy with how I performed, how I like deal with clients, how I shot and how I just presented myself in general. For the lifestyle in Singapore, I can say it was just awesome because even though you might not live in a fancy apartment, you're still able to communicate with so many really, really nice people and just like going to crazy parties, meet like awesome, awesome, like even celebrities. And just in general, it's overwhelming. And especially for a young person like me who never really got out of this small town in Germany, it's just overwhelming. And to deal with that, it's really not easy. So you should always focus about staying true to yourself 
and not becoming a different person just because you have a bit of success as a male model. And that's what I want to teach you guys as well. It's really important to stay who you are and not neglecting your, your old friends, your family, just because you have a little bit of success. That doesn't mean that you're a new person. It doesn't mean that you have like certain rights that other people don't have. And modeling in general is obviously a superficial industry, so it really matters how you look and how you present yourself, but it really doesn't matter so much who you are in the inside. I think overall I can just say like, even though your models stay who you are and to interact with everyone the same way like you would if you're not a model. So overall I can say my modeling story was just an amazing experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Meeting new people, going to the coolest places, having a cool job that you're actually like having fun with. It's so important to me and I really want to keep on doing it as long as I can. I want to share my story with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will do a lot more videos for you talking about modeling, talking about fitness, talking about like just anything you're interested in. I really want to make it as creative and interactive as possible. So it would be great for me if you could give this video a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time with whatever video you want to see.